Hollywood One nine nine one one. Our guest, Miss Ayn Rand. Hi, Michael Jackson. Hello. Hello. I have a question for Miss Rand, which has come up uh, among some of these students of objectivism here at UCLA. Good. How does one prove, using objectivism's principles, that it is in one's self-interest to carry on a love relationship with only one person in any one period, as opposed to, say, with two persons of equally high value in the same period? What premises, what how would one start to attack this question? It so isn't a question really to be proved by objectivism only. It is a question of human psychology generally. That is, what objectivism would say is that one should have a romantic or sexual relationship only with the person whom one evaluates as very high value indeed. One should not engage in romance or sex, sex with someone about whose character one has doubts. And if one has a romance only with a person of high moral character, then by that very token, one cannot divide one's affection. One may very well, in fact, be in love with two uh, men or two women at the same time in the sense of very high appreciation. That is possible. But one cannot put that feeling into practice because it is actually impossible to divide your feeling between two values. You have to make a choice and you have to decide which value is the highest one for you. And uh, psychologically, it would be an impossible conflict to be torn between two values. Thank you for your question, sir. I see. Thank you very much. Good night.